Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 27 in chapter 12. Chapter 12 is about the static balanced. In this chapter, we learned if we want to keep the object static balanced, it must satisfy two requirements. First one, the net force is zero. Second one, net torque is zero. Now let's look at this system. We can see we have the uniform road AB. The mass is given, the length is given. And at the point A, it connected with the hinge, right? And then in point B, connected with the string, and this tension is given, the tension force is given. And then also at a distance D, all we can see is X. At this point, this road, this stick, connected with a uh, object. The, this object is weight is given, 22 newtons. And also the angle theta and phi is given. So first one, we need to do the force analysis. Let's draw how much force act on the system. So of course, first one, there must be gravity for this uh, stick, right? Mg. And also there is gravity. There is also the gravity for this uh, object weight. And also the tension from the string, the rope, so F rope there. And also another thing is there must be a force act on this road by this hinge. So we can consider this is a F hinge, and then we can project it into component, X component and Y component. So we have F hinge horizontal or F hinge vertical. The second one, we need to determine vertical and horizontal force act on this road, um, act by the hinge. So that means we need to find this uh, term and this term, right? So in this one, if we want to make sure this is a static balanced, we can consider the net force is zero. So that means we look at the x component. We, we can see we can project the rope in x component and the y component, right? So x component, we have f rope sine phi, and this is f rope cosine phi. So this is a triangle. So this is a phi, agree? Yes. Now we can see at x component, we have this term and this term. So we add them together, and they are at the opposite direction. So we need to use this term f rope sine phi minus f hinge horizontal equal to zero. And then solve the equation, get the F hinge horizontal. The next one is at the Y component. <coughs> we can see, we can consider the this term, this term, this term, and this term. So the F, F rope cosine phi is up, F horizontal vertical is up, and gravity mg down, the weight W down. So add them together. We get the, it must be zero, and then we solve the equation, get the F hinge vertical, and input the known quantities, get the answer there. The next one, we need to determine the distance, this weight, right, to the point A, this uh, rotation axis. So in this case, we need to consider the net torque is zero. So how can we do that? We can see this is the rotation axis, this point, right? So we can see first the force. So this force, we don't just cross this rotation axis. So it will not bring the torque. This one not bring the torque. So first the term will we'll look at the weight. So W, uh, and then the distance from the this one to the perpendicular distance from the rotation axis to this force is just x sine theta. Agree? Yes. Now look at this one, the gravity. It pointing down so the distance from the perpendicular distance from the gravity due to the rotation axis is this length. How much? Half of the length um, sine theta, right? The next one we look at the F rope. So for F rope, it is this way, and then we need to consider the perpendicular distance <coughs> perpendicular distance from it to this one. So how can we do that? We can consider this is F rope. And it need to be perpendicular, so we can project the F rope in the X component or Y component, right? So this way and this way. Now the force, the F rope to perpendicular to this length, how much? F rope sine theta minus phi, right? Now you can see we write the torque in this equation, and it should be equal to zero. 
solve this equation, we get a function for x. Input is the known quantities. Can you find the answer there? Thank you.